Hey y'all, I'm ready to get these, this bed cleaned out. And the first thing I need to do is collect these seeds here from the, the uh, tender mustard greens. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. This is how dry you want your seed pods when you're gonna harvest the seeds from them. Let me open up one and show you what it looks like on the inside. So this is one of my tender mustard greens. And you can see this, the chaff here just pulls right away and the little seeds pop out. And that was really easy for them to come out. So you want your seed pods to be that dry and then you can either harvest the seeds or you can clip the stalks. And I'll just take them and uh, walk over to an area in my yard where I, where I want these to grow wild and I'll just shake it until the seeds fall out. And that's how I'll be using these seeds. I have my Ziploc bag. I have it labeled. I'm going to take these and just put it into the Ziploc bag like this and just break off this piece like that. And then we'll be able to get the chaff off just by squeezing it and the seeds will collect at the bottom. Careful, that's sharp. It got my thumb there. Look, it poked through the bag. I didn't know that was so sharp. But wear gloves. <laughs> Let me put mine on. So now that we have collected all of these and gave them a, a little squeeze, the seeds have come down to the bottom. Now we have a nice collection of seeds to save for next year. The rest of these brassicas in here, the broccoli, the broccoli rob, and the rest of the tender mustard green right here, they're almost dry enough to save the seeds, but I'm ready to get this bed turned over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip them and I'm gonna let them dry out uh, underneath the trees and the seeds might ripen up enough to um, give me a few plants for next year. I wanted to show you all this. You see these little bubbles here? I actually just learned yesterday that there's an insect larva in there for the spittle bug. <laughs> It's really what it's called because it looks like someone just spit on your plant, but it makes these little bubbles and there's a little larva in there. Uh, Dr. Google tells me that it's not really harmful to your plant as long as you don't have a bunch of them. So I'm not going to kill it. I'm just going to let it be. Um, oh, look, here's another one. Yeah, please see, see that them. there? <laughs> so that's, if you ever see that, it's the spittle bug larva. Before I start topping off this bed with some more soil, I want to show you what's still left in here. This is the pineapple sage I planted last fall. It's still doing really well. It makes some really pretty red flowers that the, um, the hummingbirds love. These little ones here are the Canterbury bell seeds that I sowed in the fall. This is some baby dill. These are some more Canterbury bells. And these are my kohlrabi. I don't know if they're just not getting enough sun here, but this is the biggest the little bulb has gotten. I would expect it to get a bit bigger than that. So I'm not sure, I guess next year I'll have to plant these closer to the house where they're gonna get more sun. And they are getting eaten up now that the insects have woken from their slumber but they're a very pretty plant. And the leaves are very tasty in the winter time. They taste a lot like, um, a lot like broccoli stalk, but kind of sweeter. But I was growing it for this bulb here and I actually never even got to harvest one. So I'm gonna leave these in for a bit longer and I'll eventually end up just cooking these down like a kale. So now I'm gonna go get some more soil and top off these beds.
what it looks like since I've tapped off the dirt. I've actually even moved some of these Canterbury bells. They were a little bit too deep once I added in the new soil. So I moved them and I spaced them more appropriately here. And so they'll come here and then they'll go down this way. I didn't do too much to that side where the kohlrabi is. I'm gonna let that go a little bit longer and see if I can't get a harvest. And then once I pull those, I'll add some more soil to that area. So now I get to decide what am I gonna plant here? I guess I have to go look at my seed collection. <laughs> 